It's adorable little thing. Hello? Hello? Oh. Skip it a bed and bed. <laughs> Markiplier will be popping out a baby pretty soon. This is what a tortoise poop looks like. <laughs> but everything's slowly coming together here. You're being cringe. No, they did not die. Look at this sweet ostrich leather. Oh my goodness. Look at this precious little man. Welcome to your new temporary home. Oh, look at Patrick. All right, everybody. We just got back from all things wild and we got four more raccoons now. And this little fox. I'm gonna go ahead and release this fox with the other foxes. Next week, we should be able to release all those raccoons. And it's September now, so all these foxes are about ready to be released as well. And it's good for this little fella here to finally be with some other conspecific. All right, son, go ahead, get on out of there. There you go. And this is the first time this little guy's been able to run around. And this is the most space that this little fella has had probably since he was taken in. While he was recovering from his leg injury, he was kept in those tiny little kennel spaces. Oh, look how cute these guys are. And as you guys can see, every one of these foxes is no longer friendly. And I'll show you guys a quick clip of how we caught this little guy at All Things Wild. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Apparently, for most of the dangerous animals at the rehab, the best thing you can do is just cover them with a towel to get oh, them out of the cage. Right. This doesn't fit in there. Me, really <laughs> He did, in oh, fact, no. escape. Oh, but he's so cute. I got too silly. Thankfully, we had one of these capture poles I showed you guys how to use in one of the old videos. Now, here's a little treat for you guys. These are ringtail cats. I showed you guys these fellas when they were babies, and now they're all grown up, and they're about ready to be in their pre-release enclosure. They're a nocturnal animal native to Texas, even though most people never see them and they're like a mix between a raccoon and a squirrel edgar the crow here is recovered from his avian pox and he's gonna be going back to the wild pretty soon and we got this precious little squirrel name of nub because he's missing an arm look at this little precious little oh ow moment they also got this little hawk this little black belly whistling duck precious little fella and this really late season fawn it's really late for there to be a fawn this small this time of year and i'm leaving my possum here because he's a lot happier with all of his new friends they said he was one of the least friendly foxes they've ever had at the rehab okay you guys as you can see all of these foxes are no longer friendly they don't come up to me and try and jump on me or try and get food from me and they're all very happy and healthy but i'm giving fresh water to these boys they destroyed their kennel and i'm giving fresh water to this bowl but okay all these boys are in here and i'm filling up their water right now because they make it nasty every other day no no you don't buddy this one's still a little bit too friendly now but putting them with the other ones is gonna wild them up pretty well patrick get down you're being cringe. You're being cringe, Patrick. Lizard moment. Come on, Patrick. You gotta hop down, buddy. Come on, buddy. Go. Good morning, Bibberton. <laughs> oh. Now that was an epic big ounce moment. Well, 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 well. Look who finally came out of his cave. Oh, there's one of his poop. This is what a tortoise poop looks like, you guys. It's just a big wad of, of hay. A delectable little treat. Thank you for making that for us, Master Ugwe. Look at how he's just laying down. This enclosure here is now finally almost done. Come on, into baby. We have a nice little gravel safety area so that things don't escape from here. This is where we're going to rehabilitate marsh birds and maybe beavers. Probably not be beavers though because they can chew right out of this but this whole thing here is going to be a big pond so that the marsh birds can fly down and hunt and this would be a perfect little pre-release enclosure for those boys we could also use this for foxes coyotes gators i'm going to cut a little hole in the storage container so they can go in there whenever it's really hot or really cold in the winter but everything's slowly coming together here at the urban rescue branch stop eating the dang kangaroo feet garbanzo beans in new remington are eating all the dang kangaroo feet hello to baby's wife Wife. Good morning. PewDiePie and Markiplier are doing well, and she's clearly pregnant now. So Markiplier will be popping out a baby pretty soon. And that will be the first and hopefully last baby goat that's ever been born here on the farm. Like I said before, we are not having any more of those dang male goats here again. Unless they're neutered. Bonzo beans is starting to look like a real nice drake. The cappy water is nasty now, so I'm going to go ahead and refill it. Disgusting. Kevin and his adorable little pig. Hello? 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 adorable little family is doing very well and we're getting the first rain that we've had here in waco in the last four months <laughs> that's right you guys this is what the property looks like when we've gone four months with no rain thankfully our little oasis is still doing okay over here and the water's slowly starting to clear up especially now that we added all these little plants and things homeland is doing much better now he's not limping at all anymore and his leg is healed up i'm pretty sure look at this clump of food slowly going down his neck oh sweet wampum look at this sweet ostrich 
ostrich leather. Ooh, might just have to turn you into a boot, young man. We finally have someone tomorrow coming out to finish the framing for this. After five weeks of waiting, it's finally happening. But I'm not sure what mesh I'm gonna use, you guys. So if you have any good options, let me know in the comments. And if Uncle Ben gets his permits taken away, I can just start hoarding monkeys in there. Or an orangutan, cause why not, guys? Why not? <laughs> and then my villain arc will begin. Honestly, if you guys saw the last video, if we're looking at moving to Indonesia for at least part of the year and setting up an urban rescue ranch over there, it might actually be good for Uncle Ben to get a little bit of monkey experience. Who is that? Wow, the first thunder of the summer. Those nasty tent worms from last year have already destroyed all the leaves on this tree. It's only a matter of time before they spread to the rest of them. And all my bees are still doing very well here. I need to give them some more boxes. Tell you what, guys, if this video gets four likes, then I will harvest some honey from this, I promise. And we get this video to four likes. This is the Eagle and Osprey flight pen, you guys. It's 100 feet by 40 feet. Ooh, a little thunder there. Hooray! This is gonna be the perfect place, and this can actually be split into two different flight pens for eagles and osprey, which is gonna be perfect. Or one 200 foot flight pen if we leave this area with this pond here open. Meaning they can fly from there around here in a U shape. That way they'd also be able to practice turning when they're flying. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but nobody in Texas, I don't think, has a flight pen this robust. But old Uncle Ben stayed up till 6 a.m. the night before this, cleaning up all the trash, because these contractors love leaving their cigarette butts and their water bottles all over the place. Patrick moment. But all these raccoons are about desocialized and they're ready to go back into the wild, except for this cringe one right here. Okay, while I'm filling up the cappy water, here's your gourd update, you guys. No, they did not die in a horrible Ferrari fire in the field behind our house. Fort Quandale, Kumala, and Sylvester are still doing very well over here. Also, look at Patrick and Poggers. They just want to be over here too but look at this precious little creature and we'll be making some more cappy bar mukbang videos pretty soon too i've just been so busy with everything else but i'm sorry for not uploading as frequently you guys i've been so busy with being my own general contractor for the house and building all of these things which i'm funding with my own money i just want to say this again you guys everything that i've built here including this new house and all these things i'm actually using for the nonprofit, i have built with my own funds that are not from the nonprofit. this barn is the only thing that we use to go fund me for and that only covered a quarter of the cost of it and we're not even done paying for it and i haven't and i won't make a donation link available until my house is done because i don't want all the people in the comments to be like uncle ben is building his new house with his non-profit and because i don't want to wait till this house is done to get started on all of these other projects for the actual wildlife rehab gone ahead and just started dumping my bank account on all this stuff so far since we got our 501c3 for the non-profit i've only gotten around five thousand dollars and i used that to just buy this little ounce topia barn over here which we now just use for storage Everything else has just been for merch and YouTube ad revenue. Between all this and my taxes, Uncle Ben's going broke. But like I told you guys in the very beginning when I was sleeping in the crack house, I don't really care about the money and I've kind of already accomplished the goal of showing you guys how you can do this on your own. We really took this nasty crack house and barn full of tires and trash and a dump. And I'm still finding trash in here every time it rains. And through the help of the Lord, we turned it into this beautiful oasis here. For all these cringe ah uh, uh, all rescue creatures. And we even get wild ducks coming in from time to time. Woohoo! And it's not an urban rescue branch video without making some pierogies for Big Al's and feeding some shrimp to Gustavo. Gustavo update. Take a look at this, you guys. All these minnows are still alive in here and they're procreating and eating all of the mosquito larvae. And my beautiful son, Gustavo. Take a look at this. Oh! <laughs> and right, I'll drop one more for him and I'll let him find those other ones. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this nasty tub out. Even though all of these minnows are doing fine in here, it'd be nicer if the water was a bit clear. I'll leave these two pieces pieces right here for him to eat later. Patrick P info today. Okay guys, one more thing to show you just to hammer it in. Even with meat in my hand, they don't come up to me anymore. You see that? They used to just run right up to me. One of them would jump on top of me and take food from me. Now they don't do that at all. Now who was it that commented that those foxes would never be desocialized? Look at this, you guys. Even after putting the food down, they won't eat in front of me. Especially this little guy, which is our new friend. Every one of these guys is ready to be released into the wild. None of them are social with humans. No, I'm giving the meat right now they've all expressed the ability to hunt wild game Woohoo! <laughs> well that's it for now though you guys thanks so much for watching this video i'm gonna go ahead and give these pierogies to big ounce and because big ounce is the reason why the majority of you guys are here here's a little clip of me scratching his face for 20 seconds straight oh sweet womp look how he just disappears into my covers goodbye big ounce just kidding <laughs> found you this is still my favorite creature 
on the ranch. Okay, there he goes. But I love you guys. I appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Ooh, almost forgot to tell you. Ah!